It's Rhapsody Time, Reality Time. Today's message is titled, The Bible Isn't Old Fashioned. The opening verse is from 1 John chapter 2, verse 18, and it says, Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now there are many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. The Bible is facing a lot of attacks today from different quarters. We know that these attacks are inspired by the spirit of Antichrist that's already in the world. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 3, it says, And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and it even now already is in the world. The spirit of Antichrist is responsible for motivating different individuals and organizations to portray the Bible as untrustworthy or undependable. That's the spirit that propels them to publish books and promote films that seek to discourage faith in the Bible. In 2 John chapter 1 verse 7 says, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Some of these people surprisingly claim to be Christians. But remember that in the book of Job, the sons of God, referring to angels, came to present themselves to God on a certain day. And Satan also came among them. The scripture reference is from Job chapter 1 verse 6. It is still happening today. When God's children gather before the Lord in churches and fellowships, you'll find others who join them that aren't of God. These have opened themselves to be used by Satan to attack the Word of God so that people will lose faith in the Bible. But their efforts will fail as God's people pray and preach the truth. Hallelujah. Don't pay attention to those who say the Bible is old-fashioned and should be done away with. The Bible is still as relevant today as it was at any time in history. It is God's document of truth, and it is trustworthy and dependable. Let your faith in it be unshakable. Hallelujah. Let us take the prayer for today's Rhapsody. Dear Father, thank you for the power of your word, its consistency, reliability, dependability, and trustworthiness from age to age, and its capacity and ability to take me through any situation in life victoriously. I am a doer of your word. As I look into the word, I'm transfigured in the glory of the realities that I see. Pictures and visions of glory, success, and excellence. In Jesus' name, Amen. During your times of further studies, you can go to 2 Timothy chapter 3 from verse 16 to 17. James chapter 1 from verse 22 to 25. Thank you for tuning in for today's Rhapsody of Realities and I will see you tomorrow. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, 
I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.